Hello, it's Billy from Insanity Samples. This is a short auxiliary video to go alongside the main walkthrough for Shire Winds and deal specifically with the new functionality in the version 1.5.0 update. We're going to explore specifically the changes in the interface layout and the powerful changes made to the overlay threshold system, creating an even more playable and performance-led design to the way the library functions. Let's take a whistle stop tour of the interface first. Whilst there are still three main view pages in performance, mixer and effects, the functionality of each page has changed, most notably the performance page. This is the main hub of the library and lists all articulations, overlay thresholds and expressive slider, with the true legato functionality now living on the left side column that is always visible. This GUI style has brought Shire Winds in line with our most recent design ecosystem and something that will be rolling out across our entire back catalogue where functionally possible. The remaining mixer page houses all volume based information as with before and the effects page also houses the standard post effects units with the addition of a stereo modeler. For full details on the mixer and effects page reference the full walkthrough video. So the main change made to this library in the 1.5 update is the powerful update to the overlay threshold system. Let's take a look at that. An already powerful function has now been ramped up another notch where before the overlaying was linked to a slider that allowed for a singular window of opportunity to trigger the chosen articulation, you now have multiple windows of opportunity per articulation with eight slots to select, allowing for a more straightforward and quick system of clicking a slot and in turn creating a new window for that articulation to trigger. This not only cuts down on the time spent setting up overlay thresholds alongside offering multiple slots per articulation, but also allows for each slot to only be taken by one articulation at a time, stopping accidental triggering of multiple articulations at the same time, keeping the instrument true to the real life before performance. A really excellent and powerful update to this section, and one that is fast becoming a standard but unique function to our libraries. Finally, the grace note articulations have been simplified as well, with fully dynamic semitone to whole tone variations being controlled entirely from the scale link menu now, with the option to lock to semitones or whole tones, though the best use case is most definitely to link them to the key center you are playing in and allow the engine to do the rest, adding yet another level of playability to the performance-led user experience. Okay, that is all that is new in the version 1.5 update, a free update to all existing owners. For the full walkthrough, reference the original version one walkthrough, as all other functionality other than the ones discussed in this video remain the same. Head to insanitysamples.com for more information. Thanks for watching.